Hi, I'm Filipina Shayo, a PhD candidate in biodiversity and ecosystem management in the Nelson Mandela African Institution of Science and Technology here in Arusha, Tanzania. Uh, on behalf of my colleagues, I'll be presenting to you on the contribution of neglected oyster nut Otelfaria pedata to biodiversity conservation and improved community livelihoods in northern Tanzania. My co-authors are Nel Emmanuel Mwakasege and Professor Anna Tweed, both from Nelson Mandela. Basically, Telfaria pedata or oyster nuts are vines which climb over ta tall trees native to Africa, particularly Tanzania, Kenya, coast of Kenya and Uganda, and also all the way to Mozambique. It is neglected. Why do we say it's neglected? Because us scientists or researchers have put it aside or just neglected for development. So that is why it is not being consumed or utilized or researched by the majority of us. It belongs to Kokobitese family, which it bears fruits. The fruits itself has seeds up to 250. The seeds can last up to eight years and the plant can last up to 20 years. Um, we have done the, the research on um, finding out what is the importance of Telfaria pedata and the reasons for that is that they have um, no adequate information on its propagation, its distribution, and also the nutritional component of it. So from our objective of, of investigating the natural and um, farm distribution, we also came up with the following results. This is the morphology of the oyster nut itself, and from the materials and method that we use, socioeconomic data or survey, to 346 respondents, we came up with um, that the ethnobotanical knowledge and uses, which may basically cooking and lactating and also for snacks, and also the hardwood tree species that we came to find out was the most, the most preferred to grow with the oyster nut is Albizia champiriana. And for the proximate analysis on the nutrition component, we found out it has high content of fat, protein. If you compare it with normal ground nuts, you realize that with oyster nut it's only 25%, but for the ground nut it's 22% and of protein, and for the sesame it's hardly 19%. So in that context, finding out the minerals themselves, the magnesium, potassium, manganese, and all the way to um, saturated and saturated fatty acid, we could conclude that oyster nut should be promoted, not only for the pregnant and lactating mothers, even for the men, because of the minerals that are found in, in the nut. And also, we could also um, say that besides it being a Cook, a substitute for cooking oil, it can also be an income generating activity. So we, we, we recommend that even the government could have a look at it, again an extra eye on the oyster nut, so that we could come up with strategies and policy that could favor the potentiality and promotion of oyster nut. Thank you very much.